welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of July. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I did this face, then just keep on watching. So the theme for the month of July is Road Trippin'. And this is the pamphlet that they gave us. They've got a little picture of all their BoxyCharm um, Boxy Babes on it, which is just like a bunch of influencers. And, um, this box came with some brands that I've never heard of before. So starting it off, I went ahead and did my brows first. So the brow product that we received in our box is from Chella Beauty and it retails for $26. The description is, add some wow to your brows. This innovative eyebrow cream effortlessly defines and shapes your eyebrows with its creamy consistency and built-in brush. This velvet-like formula makes blending easy then sets, giving you perfect brows that will last all day and night. So this one is actually kind of fun to work with and it comes in the shade um, Tantalizing Taupe. I wouldn't say this is a taupe, but I could I could see girls with lighter hair than me still using it. Like I don't think it would be too dark for them. Um, and I kind of liked it and at the same time I kind of didn't. I didn't very much like the uh, brush that it came with because it's so thick. Like it may look like it's kind of thin right here, but it's not thin enough to make um, like hair-like strokes on your eyebrows or to do my tail either. I had to clean it up with some concealer afterward. But I did like how fast it worked. Um, this packaging is really interesting too. I like that it's in one tube and you just kind of have, if I can get it out, the cream in the bottom and the brush at the top. So it's like an all-in-one product. Um, and it'd be really good to like travel with and you don't have to have, if you usually use like a brow cream or a brow, uh, a dip brow, you know, a pomade. Um, that would be a little bulkier than just one of these. Um, and I think I like how it looked. Um, I really like how I could do it in the front of my brows. It was almost like using a powder. Um, it's kind of like a powder to cream formula is what I would describe it as. But I think it worked really well and I kind of, I enjoyed using it and I enjoyed experimenting with it and I think I will be using it in the future. So that was a good product. So the next product that I went ahead and went in with is the Crown Brushes Fuego Eyeshadow Collection Palette. So it says it's made up of rich warm tone shades. This creamy high pigmented palette gives you exactly what you need to create infinite flawless eye looks. The four shimmer shades perfectly complement the six matte shades, making this palette for all your glam hashtag goals. Um, and it retails for $29.99. I don't know if I'd pay $30 for this uh, palette, but it's really giving me like some major modern renaissance vibes. Like you guys look for yourself and tell me, and you'll saw the swatches. Um, it's very warm toned, which I don't know if I like that for like the summertime necessarily. I would say that's more of a fall look, um, especially like even with this lip, I tried to go like pinkier with it. It just kind of didn't really work and I didn't really know how to use this palette. Um, so I tried to do a halo eye because honestly these shimmer shades are really, really pretty. Um, I don't know how well I achieved it. I don't think it looks bad. It's not showing up how um, dark it is and like bright the center is on camera. But I mean in real life, I think it showed up really well. I like the products. Um, I think the mattes are a little bit tough to work with, specifically like this red that I used to like darken up. It kind of was a little bit hard to blend, but I went in with um, these two, let's see if I can show them. These two brown shades are perfect. They're so good. And I blended the red one with those shades and it was perfect. So this palette, I think I will be reaching for it more towards fall just because I can't see myself using those warm tones just quite yet in the summer. So before I went ahead and did the lower lash line and put on my face makeup, I went in with the Dr. Brandt Needles No More, No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel, and it retails for $42. And it's actually like an orange color, like a, um, a color corrector would be, but when you put it on your eyes, it isn't really that sort of color. But it did leave my under eyes kind of velvety, um, and I don't feel like my concealer applied any differently with this on. If anything, it applied better. Um, I did cut right here with some concealer just to make this line of my eyeshadow sharper um, and that seemed to make it pill up just a bit but I guess I was just the brush was too much for it so I went in with a sponge for my under eye concealer and that worked really well 
Um, I think this did work. If you had under eye bags, this would probably work really well for you. I might have to try this in the morning with part of my skincare routine and see how that goes, but as of right now, I think it's a pretty good product. So after I did that, I went ahead and finished off the under eye with some more eyeshadow from the palette. And then I went in with the Wander Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. The description for this is, this award-winning black and intensely glossy mascara will bring your lashes to new heights, literally. The Unleashed Mascara volumizes, lengthens, strengthens, and conditions your lashes while using a combination of gentle ingredients. And it retails for $24. So I think this mascara was actually my favorite part of the box. Um, this tube, at first, I thought it was really odd, um, but I was talking it over with my mom, and I feel like it's probably a good idea because because once you get to like the end of the tube you can just squeeze it and squeeze it onto the bristles of the brush and you can just use it up to the last drop um, and I really love this curved uh, brush I didn't think it would make that much of a difference um, but it was really nice to go in with the I don't know upper curve and get real close to my lash line and I did two coats of this and I think it looks really good like I'm not a lash girl I don't like to put lashes on like all the time I usually just like to go in with a couple coats of mascara and I feel like this is going to be my new fave um, I think it worked really well and I even put on my lower lash line and it didn't seem to get anywhere I was trying to be very like cautious and not get mascara all over my lids and I think I accomplished that so it's not messy at all, which is really good. So the brush head is not like a silicone mascara brush tip. It's more of a natural hair bristle. Um, so I feel like because of that and because of the formulation, it wasn't so liquidy. And I really, really love that. Then it won't just transfer everywhere and get everywhere when I'm putting it on. So I really enjoyed this product. And now for the very last product, it's the Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. And mine is in the shade 05 Desert Rose. Designed to work for all skin types, this luminous paraben-free blush adds natural color to your cheeks while preventing dryness with its argan oil infused formula. The built-in brush and mirror makes this little compact a three-in-one treat, perfect for the charmer on the go. So no cosmetics, I've heard of them before, but I've never really tried any of their products, and so I was kind of excited to get this blush. And the color, mmm, 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 it's, mmm, it's a good like coral, <laughs> corally orange shade, like honestly my favorite shade of blush. And I went in a little heavy handed. I had to blend it out afterwards um, because it was like very pigmented. Like this is a good blush. But honestly, uh, the mirror is a little tiny to, to really use. Like it's very small. I don't know what you're gonna be doing in that mirror. And I will not be using the brush that it comes with. Because who's gonna use this? Nobody. It was cute that you included it, but no one's gonna use it. So that is all my products for the box. And I don't think any of them were duds. Like uh, brow product, good. Under eye gel, pretty good. Uh, the palette, it was good, but I won't be using it right now because I'm not like into these kind of shades for the summer, but it was still good. Mascara, great. great. And blush, pretty dang good. So all five products were really great. This box, like BoxyCharm, summer yes like i'm feeling it last month was so good and this month was good too i can't wait for august i can't wait i can't wait that was my boxy charm unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did like the video comment down below and subscribe turn all notifications on so you'll be notified when i upload my next video see you guys next time